Hey everyone and welcome to your free intuitive coaching. Today I'm going to talk about a topic called spiritual bypassing. Um, so when you start on your journey on spirituality, you're pretty much faced with spirituality 101, which is like your fundamentals. Um, you get into the space of awakening and you start connecting with um, you know, guides and angels and intuition and you may even start joining um, communities and soul tribes and all that beautiful stuff that comes with Spirituality 101. But what ends up happening is sometimes individuals use spirituality as a coping mechanism to continue avoiding their pain. So they will use um, sayings like, well, the universe is just gonna bring me what I need and not do the work. Um, you know, it, it, you know, oh, it's okay if you send this person blessings and you know, um, the universe is gonna bring you back blessings in return. And that's not necessarily how it works. The universe is responding to your personal vibration all the time. So if you're in a state of avoidance, you're gonna keep attracting negative experiences in your path and you won't necessarily understand why. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start blaming other individuals or thinking that they're super negative and that you need to get rid of them and out of your, pa your path. But what you don't realize is that these individuals are a complete reflection of what you're feeling within yourself. That's why it's so imperative to get into facing the shadow aspects of your own inner being because through those aspects you will figure out who you truly are and you will gain back your personal power. Now in that there has to be facing a lot of your own personal fears and truths and when people speak their truth um, most people tend to run away from it. So if someone comes at you with their truth or their vulnerability, individuals who are in spiritual bypassing will feel like it's extremely uncomfortable or like um, they don't really know how to uh, help that person or validate that personal experience. They may throw something like, oh, just go meditate or um, you know, just cut that person out of your life completely. And what we have to get to terms with is that when you are on a spiritual journey or on a spiritual path, it's amazing that you're starting off with your spirituality 101 and you're building your foundation and you're getting into the space of doing more things that you know make you feel better. It's imperative to get into the perspective of joy, but it's also imperative to really look within yourself and figure out what your negative emotions are because these negative emotions are not negative. They actually are trauma that you've been through that need your personal attention and they need you to show up for them. They cannot get you into the space of your joy, your peace, and your calm if you're not giving it the attention that it needs. So spiritual bypass is about avoidance. And I want you to ask yourself this question right now. If you're on a spiritual journey or on a spiritual path, are you avoiding your issues? Are you using other spiritual modalities to keep you in that codependency? Um, so I wanted you guys to, I did this video specifically for individuals who are trying to transition right now and are finding it very difficult and not understanding why they keep attracting these experiences. So the key component here is don't avoid your pain. Get into the space of acknowledging your pain. And the more that you do, you will realize that the suffering and the depression that you've been going through actually isn't a problem. The problem is the avoidance of it. Okay? Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.